1 when n greater than equal to a or 0 when n less than a. Next we are going to study about ram signal. Integral of step function u of t is a ram function of unit slope. It is commonly denoted by r of t. Where r of t is equal to t when t greater than equal to 0 or 0 t less than 0. Display time version of the ram function is as shown below. This is defined as r of n is equal to n when n greater than equal to 0, 0 when n is less 0, that is r of n is equal to n n less than 0. Next is even and odd signal. The continuous time signal x of t is said to be an even signal if it satisfies x of minus t is equal to x of t for all t. The signal is said to be an odd signal if it satisfies the condition x of minus t is equal to minus x of t for all t. Even signals are symmetric about the vertical axis whereas odd signals are anti-symmetric about the time origin. So we can see even signal and odd signal. Similarly, a discrete time signal can be an even signal if it satisfies the condition x of minus n is equal to x of n. If the discrete time signal satisfies the condition x of minus n is equal to minus x of n, then they are called odd signal. So we can see even and odd signal for discrete time signal. The signal x of t can be expressed as the sum of the two components x e of t plus x naught of t for continuous time or x a of n and x naught of n for discrete time as given below. So first equation is x of t or uh, summation of even and odd signals x a of t plus x naught of t. So second equation shows even and odd signals of discrete time signals, summation of even and odd signals. If t is replaced by minus t in equation number 1 and n by minus n then x of minus t is equal to x a of minus t plus x naught of minus t which is equal to x a of t minus x naught of t. That is for even signal x a of t is equal to x a of minus t and our signal x naught of minus t is equal to minus x naught of t. x of minus n is equal to x a of minus n plus x naught of minus n which is equal to x a of minus n minus x naught of minus n. x a of minus n is equal to x a of n for e1 and x naught of minus n is equal to x naught of n for r. Adding equation number 1 and 3 we get x a of t is equal to 1 by 2 into x of t plus x of minus t and adding equation number 2 and 4 we will get x a of n is equal to 1 by 2 into x of n plus x of minus n. Definition is valid provided the signals are real valued signals. If the signal is complex valued signal x of t is said to be conjugate symmetric if it satisfies the condition x of minus t is equal to x star of t where star denotes the complex conjugation let x of t is equal to a of t plus j into b of t, x star of t is equal to a into t minus j into b of t which is equal to x of minus t. The signal is conjugate symmetric provided real part is e1 and imaginary part is. Next we have periodic and aperiodic signals. The periodic signal x of t is a function that satisfies the condition x of t is equal to x of t plus or minus t for all t where t is a positive constant. The smallest value of t that satisfies the above equation is called the fundamental period of x of t. The reciprocal of the fundamental period capital T is called the fundamental frequency of the periodic signal x of t. f is equal to 1 by t hat. Any signal x of t for which there is no value of capital T satisfying the above equation is called an aperiodic or non-periodic signal. We can see periodic and non-periodic signal of continuous time signal. A discrete time signal x of n is a periodic with a period capital N where capital N is a positive integer if it, if it is unchanged by a time shift of capital N that is if x of n is equal to x of n plus or minus capital N. Next we have sinusoidal signals. The continuous time version of a sinusoidal signal is written as x of t is equal to a cos omega naught of t plus phi where a is amplitude, omega naught is frequency in radians per second, phi is space angle in radians. x of t plus t is given by a cos omega naught of t plus omega naught of capital T plus phi which is equal to a cos omega naught of t plus 2 pi plus phi. Omega naught is 2 pi f, t is equal to 1 by f, hence ff cancels, remaining is 2 pi. 
that is a cos omega naught of t plus phi which is equal to x of t that means it is periodic with a period 2 phi hence the signal is periodic in case of discrete time version of a sinusoidal signal x of n is equal to a cos o naught of n plus phi the period of a periodic discrete time signal is measured in samples for x of n to be periodic with a period of capital n samples it must satisfy the equation x of n plus n is equal to x of n for all integers small n and some integer capital n x of n plus n is equal to a into cos of o naught of n plus o naught of capital n plus phi which is equal to a cos o naught of n plus 2 pi m plus phi for m varies from 1 to 3 and so on and a cos o naught of n plus phi is equal to x of n from above it can be detected that the discrete time signal is periodic provided Ohm naught of n is equal to 2 pi m, ohm naught is equal to 2 pi m by n, radians per cycle. For the discrete time signal to be periodic, the angular frequency ohm naught must be multiple of 2 pi. Next, we have deterministic signal and random signals. A deterministic signal is a signal about which there is no uncertainty with respect to its value at any time. They can be modeled as completely specified function of time. For example, S of t is equal to u of t minus t naught minus u of t minus t naught plus t. A random signal is a signal which there is uncertainty before it occurs. Such a signal may be viewed as belonging to a group of signals with each signal in the group having a different waveform. For example, EEG signal not generated in the amplifier of a radio or television. Next we have energy signals and power signals. The instantaneous power dissipated in the resistor R is given by P of T is equal to V square of T divided by R which is equal to R into I square of T. The instantaneous power P of T is proportional to the square amplitude of the signal. In signal analysis, it is customary to define power in terms of a 1 ohm resistor. Then P of T is equal to X square of T where X of T may be current or voltage. The total energy of the continuous time signal x of t is defined by E is equal to limit t times t infinity integration of minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square of t into dt. So, which is equal to minus infinity to infinity x square of t into dt. And its average power is given as t is equal to limit t times t infinity 1 by t integration of minus e by 2 to t by t x square of t into dt which is equal to limit t times t infinity 1 by 2 t minus t 2 plus t x square of t into d. The average power of a periodic signal x of t, a fundamental period t is given by t is equal to 1 by t integration of minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square of t into d. The square root of the average power p is called the root mean square value of the signal x of t. In case of discrete time signal x of n, the total energy of x of n is defined by e is equal to limit n times t infinity n is equal to minus n to n x of n whole square which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x square of n. And this average power is defined by e is equal to limit n times to infinity 1 by 2 n summation n is equal to minus n to n minus 1 x square of n. Limit n times to infinity 1 divided by 2 n plus 1 summation n is equal to minus n to n x of n whole square. The average power in a periodic signal x of n with a fundamental period capital N is given by p is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. The signal is referred as an energy signal if and only if the total energy of the signal satisfies the condition. 0 less than E less than infinity. On the other hand, it is referred as a power signal if and only if the average power of the signal satisfies the condition 0 less than P less than infinity. So, an average signal has zero average power whereas a power signal has infinite energy. Most of the periodic signals are power signals whereas non-periodic signals are energy signals. There are some signals which are neither power nor energy signals. RAM signal or unit RAM sequence are neither power or energy signal. In the table, it is given type of the signals and uh, what are the energy signals and power signals.